That's one story that has nothing to do with flying, but everything to do with the Hornet. I, when I was a, a, my very first deployment on the USS Nimitz, walk into my aircraft, I got blown off the side of the ship. No way. Yeah, yeah. Oh, wow. Me and my plane captain both walk into our, uh, an F-14 was in the wire taxi and in the, you know, and you usually, you know, you walk behind airplanes, you know, and you kind of get used to it. You lean into the, the exhaust and duck down and kind of and tuck through, you get a little system going how you do it. But he was uh, taxiing over the four wire, it was just, just poor timing. I, I was walking behind him when he came up on the power to get over the wire, because wow. it's like a speed bump. And myself and my plane captain both just launched off the side of the ship. Wow. Uh, you know, that's a good 70, 75 foot fall in the ocean. I actually thought it was it for me. As, as I was bouncing across the flight deck, I, I had all my flight gear on, my helmet, everything. And I, I had my uh, helmet bag uh, and I just threw it, you know, and I was trying to, like my claw, my, like my hands are gonna be able to dig into the uh, carrier flight deck, you know, I'm, <laughs> I'm you know, like a cat probably. Uh, that wasn't helping. Um, <clears throat> so I go off the side of the ship and as I'm falling, I'm uh, thinking this is it, you know, and I was at peace. I was like, well, I guess my mother's gonna hear about this now, you know, wow. and uh, anyway, land in the water, you know, everything inflated, everything worked like it was supposed to. And that's good. And, that, <laughs> and now I'm worried, did anybody see this happen? You know, am I gonna be left out here? Cause I was in the Persian Gulf and luckily for me, it was the middle of the day, it was December, but the water's quite warm there still. Right. So I was, I was fine. And then uh, I thought I was alone, and then I realized my plane captain was next to me. And uh, so we, we kind of held on to each other, and the helicopter came and got us. And now it was the embarrassment. I was going to say, you know, was there a lot of ribbon when you got back oh, from yeah. <laughs> I felt shame. I remember being on the helicopter, and, and they're like, uh, they're like uh, asked me what my name was, and then they're calling back to the ship. And so all my friends were, all the jets were turning on the deck because it was Operation Southern Watch Flight of the Month. So every plane was turning. Right. And so they're all up on the Tower Freak and they wow. hear this like, oh, it's, we got a, it's like, oh. we got Tim, Captain Tim Golden. And, the, and oh, everybody's like, you know, they're laughing. So so I say, hey, they, they bring stretchers up and want to carry us off the airplane. And I'm like, no, that's not gonna happen. No. I'm gonna walk off this. No, I couldn't. I stepped on, I realized I'd broken my leg. I oh. didn't realize it till I got off really? and put weight on it because all the adrenaline and the kind of, honestly, I was pissed off this happened to me, you know, yeah. and uh, and went to the ground and they carried me down. So I missed about, I, I think I was only, had a cast on for about two months and I just stayed on the ship, was the duty officer every day in the squadron, miserable, but I was not going to be sent home. You know, that wasn't going to happen. So, <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah.